Hi and welcome to the latest instalment of the main automower challenge. Uh, now firstly apologies, I know a lot of you have been getting quite irate that I haven't given you a regular update. I do apologise, work, family, life, the universe, you know the usual stuff's got in the way. And, and to be honest with you the other thing was really realistically I wanted to give you an update after a good year and in our case we've now had Parker running for about 18 months so it's a pretty good time to give you kind of an update of where we are how we're getting on with him what's been going on so as I said there's no real major issues one one issue that I did have um, over uh, the, the autumn of, of last year and spring of this year was I don't know if you can see here but when I fixed the boundary wire when it was installed um, it was just a bit too close to the edge here there's a bit of a slope here probably can't see on the video but there's a bit of a slope here falls away um, and the boundary wire came in a couple of times Parker was kind of stuck in I think as he turned around his back wheel got caught and where it was on a slope uh, that wheel just caught him behind uh, the edge of the lawn and the the border um, and became stuck nothing ever really happened he just sort of stayed there you come out you lift him up move him on and set him off his way but it happened three or four times so in the end what it did was just to um, refix the boundary wire uh, and rebed it just a bit further back uh, just to make sure that that didn't happen now a big comment um, that I've had lots of comments about well yeah that's fine but how does it cope with leaves well what I've done is let the leaves fall in the garden uh, as much as possible and I've had them last year probably you know uh, in, in some cases sort of half a foot deep um, and you can see that it uh, doesn't make any difference at all the Ultimo will just go over the top of them it will cut them a bit shred them up but if you collect your leaves either by rake or a billy goat or whatever you use it's no real problem um, it probably does blunt the blades a bit more than it would do normally but um, to be honest with you I haven't really noticed anything significant one thing you can see getting closer is that the leaves do tend to collect a bit on the back of the auto mower it doesn't actually stop the auto mower working um, and what you do find I'll find it in a minute every so often the actual leaves come off and leave like a, a rolled strip um, but as I say it doesn't really impact the autumn as you can see now one of the benefits of being on YouTube as I'm sure anyone has posted on YouTube will know you get loads of comments back from uh, individuals uh, particularly naysayers say ah oh, the auto mower what a load of rubbish it's not efficient if it was efficient it would go up and down in an organized pattern following lines for instance that's the most efficient way of working so let me just make a couple of observations the first is if that was going to be really efficient it would follow the same lines and if you can see just here where the auto mower goes in and out of the house I constructed you'll be able to see this is probably the only place in the garden where the auto mower has to follow the same line repeatedly and you can probably just make out there you get two lines it's just coming back probably about half a meter from the house and that's where its rear wheels go in and out constantly on the same line so the reality is if you were going to follow exactly the same lines up and down your whole garden would look like that the second thing is the auto mower senses what parts of the garden grow fastest at what times of the year so what you will do is you'll find that the auto mower spends a great amount of time over in that part of the garden where it's quite open and the grass grows quite freely and yet in summer under the trees where the light's not so prevalent and nor is the water it spends less amount of time and then finally when it de detects um, more grass or longer growth it will go into a concentric circle pattern working its way out um, to make sure that that grass in the area is, is completely uh, mown down so I think you know people are sometimes mistaking efficiency and their view of, of, of what is efficient against what makes a really good lawn and what makes a good finish to a lawn now another question that I get constantly asked is one about dog poo so I'm going to spare you a close-up of uh, one of Guinness's offerings here today but um, I've got a Jack Russell uh, it's not particularly big 
and uh, and therefore uh, it doesn't really pose much of a problem. We do have a tidy up from time to time, but if if we haven't uh, and the automo rides over it, um, you don't really see any impact. If you had a much larger dog, it could be a problem, but uh, I can honestly say so far, I haven't had that problem myself. Now one of the final questions I keep getting asked a lot about is alarms and being stolen. And, and I think you have to put life into a bit of, uh, you know, bit of context really. If I lived in central London, would I put this on my front lawn? Uh, probably not. Uh, I live in the country, but you could argue it's probably as much a risk here uh, if it was on open display. It does have an alarm, um, so let me just demonstrate that to you. If I pick this up without pressing the, the, the stop button or the hatch, it would have the same impact, but here we go. Look. So what will happen is the alarm will sound in a minute. It is shrill enough to alert my neighbors, myself, um, to what is, is going on. You can hear a countdown. The same would happen if I picked it up. So, you know, it's enough to let anyone what's going on. And by the way, before you ask, I have changed the pin number for the purposes of this uh, this actual demonstration, so I'm not giving everyone my pin number on, um, on YouTube. So, um, that's kind of uh, where we are with that. So, as I say, I think you have to put it into context um, and be aware where you're going to go. But then, having said that, if I had an ordinary hand mower, would I leave that unattended uh, in a big built up area for everyone to walk past? Probably not. Uh, would I leave uh, a hand mower in my back garden for an hour whilst having a coffee? Absolutely, I would. So, I think it's just a case of putting it into context, but fully understand that if you do live in an area um, prone to things being stolen, uh, or, or being pilfered, then uh, then it's probably not the right tool for you. So there we have it. I mean, I think that's a pretty good sort of where I found. I think finally, I would say my my um, my enthusiasm to keep the automower cleaned and the blades changed has waned a little. I used to go out kind of once a week. Uh, I can honestly say probably I do it once every six weeks now. Uh, probably when I change the blades. The blades I found have lasted actually about six to eight weeks um, and as I said in previous posts I tend to notice that when um, the uh, the grass is looking a little bit ripped rather than cut um, but as I say it's, a, it's literally a, a five minute job to change so let me know uh, if you have any more uh, questions and comments keep them coming and I will continue to uh, give you an update uh, how things are going but so far absolutely great and uh, I, I really wouldn't want to go back to a hand mower.